So I, I actually used to visit Australia quite a bit before I started medical school because I had family here. And so in those visits and seeing the culture here, it was the reason actually why coming to study medicine in Australia was actually my number one choice over even Canada. And so in, in that process and seeing everyone here and how the culture was, it was a selling point to me. And as they spoke about, we only have about 120, 130 students. And so you really do get to see everyone. You get to know them on a first name basis and the small PBL or the problem-based learning, you only have about eight people. And so that's quite important because when you're doing, when you're practicing clinical skills and your tutors going around from, you usually do it in pairs, you want to have, you know, that tutor there to make sure you're, you know, you're doing things properly if you have questions. Because otherwise, if you have too big of a group, you know, you, you might not be as confident when you go into the hospital. Um, and I'm currently based at um, Sydney, uh, St. Vincent's Hospital here, just which is right across the street, actually, from um, where I'm sitting here right now. And it's one of the, actually the major hospitals in Sydney, if not all, all Australian. So you do see quite a bit, whether it's an emergency or an anesthetics, or, um, heart transplants, whatever you're interested in, there's really great opportunities to, uh, to see anything you wanted to. Um, in regards to Sydney living, um, how I would compare it, it would, it's like Toronto, but minus the negative degree, negative 30 degree weather. And there's beaches, probably 20 minute bus rides in every way direction. Um, we're about, I would say, 20 minutes from the Opera House. Um, so again, anything you want, you could find. Um, I come from a Lebanese background. And so a 25 minute train ride, I find myself in Greenacre or Bankstown where I can find all the Arab foods and Arab people that I want to interact with or not interact with, but there's definitely something for everyone that I would say. Um, and then also in terms of representation of the school, like, so we have social reps, we have um, international reps, we have uh, sport reps. So there's always someone to go to if you want to engage in something. So if you have, you know, international needs and you can talk to the interna international rep, um, or Dr. Maserati. Um, and likewise, there's sports, um, recreational sports that are organized, um, social parties that are organized, um, things like a, the gala you can go to where, you know, every year there's a big dinner and dance and all the med students kind of get together. Um, and yeah, I think I've touched on everything I wanted to on my notes here. But yeah, it's very inclusive. We do have everyone of all faiths and, you know, all cultures. The school really does care about you. They do, you know, often, you know, monthly or bi-monthly um, check-ins with you to make sure you're doing all right, to make sure you're progressing well. Um, so you really do feel it's almost like a one-on-one -on -one, um, education in that sense. That's all, everything I've had to say. I don't know if anyone had any questions based off of that. So I think, yeah, just to add on to what my colleague said, um, so yeah, lucky I'm I'm the uh, international rep. <laughs> so, uh, so whatever the question, I, I'm still learning the process myself. But whatever questions we communicate as a national basis, so all the uh, medical uh, students or all the international reps from all over the country, we form a group, and then uh, there are some meetings, and then past students sharing experience, and then I think last couple of weeks we had um a sharing meeting or like a webinar thing that was based uh with some q a uh format so some of the canadian um students or international students wanted to ask about a lot of uh, uh pathways to go back to your uh canada to practice or just to stay in australia so all all these kind of things so um just regarding the course I think it's it has been excellent so I'm currently in second year so just the transition from the first year more of a uh, mechanism or clean uh, like a molecular basis into a more clinical basis it has been really really interesting so uh, in each PBL we discuss a case uh, each week and then we sort of focus on more of uh, etiology, pathology, and then the management. So what we are going to do. So that mimics whatever uh, we're going to face uh, any patient in the future in the hospital. So in the third year and fourth year, I believe uh, we will uh, be well prepared. And then just to add on to um, the thing that we get 
uh, discussed about, which was the critical thinking, because currently, you know, chat GPT or whatever AI comes out, and then it's really hard to actually not to uh, dismiss that because it has been very powerful and useful. So the information it gives out can be a bit misleading sometimes. So we need to actually have this kind of quality to actually discern that whether this uh, information is uh, credible or not. That's why I think the uni actually teaches us a lot about that quality as well. And uh, overall experience has been wonderful. I think, uh, yeah, uh, just any questions, just feel free to ask, yes.